Hello there! Welcome to Muriel's Dance Bag. So, I am Muriel and I had a blog, which by the way, I'm gonna link it down below in the description. And as I said on my last blog post, I am gonna start my YouTube channel today. Like, wow. I must say, I'm a bit nervous in front of the camera because, you know, I'm alone in my room talking to the camera like weird but anyway i thought it was gonna be fun to give it a try and as i said today i'm talking about drum roll please what's in my dance bag yeah i know it's a very very common like subject to talk about because every kind of dancer in the world wants to show what's in their dance bag it's such a common video to do because everyone has their personality inside a dance bag as well and i think it's gonna be fun to also you get to know me a bit i get to know you a bit also when you comment down below so just leave a comment First of all, what's the dance bag I have? Well, this is it. This is the one, the only dance bag. Anyway, <laughs> a bit crazy as you can see. Summer gets me a bit crazy. Well, it's it's finishing up, so that's what gets me the craziest. Anyway, this dance bag is from the brand Deha. And I bought it back in a vacation I had in Paris. Deha is not an actual ballet brand, but it's more of a sporty, jazzy, warm-up kind of brand. But they do very, very nice dance bags, which I'm very happy about because I've had this one for the last four years and it's worked marvelously. Yeah, so let's see what's inside, don't you think? First of all, I have this pouch in here and it's where I carry my more normal stuff the things I would carry on my regular purse and I have my wallet which is beautiful, compact, small, great it's important to have a good quality wallet to not lose your money so I would recommend investing on a good wallet I also have headphones it's something I can't, can't, can't miss I can't start a class without listening to music on the way to class I can't start the day without music I can't go into the shower without music I'm a very, very, very music lover person it inspires me all the time it gets me in a good mood I just love music I guess all dancers might love music and for me, having headphones is a must and when I don't carry them around I get really anxious and nervous and crazy really anyway moving on I also carry my phone with a very good case because it falls around all the time and especially if you record dance videos with it as a lot of dancers will do it's important to have a good case so it lasts you longer this one my brother got it for me very very hard so it's not gonna break another two things I carry in here is a lighter people who know me a bit and might be watching this video know that I was asking for a lighter 24-7 and it's important to always have a lighter because all the time not just punches but clothes might have some small threads out or whatever and it kind of annoys me so you can burn them, chuck them out, just great and last thing I carry is some gum I like the sugar free from Orbit be called differently in some other countries extra it's how it's called in Germany that I know for sure I hate it when you feel your mouth is not clean enough you know you don't have the best breath at the moment so having gum with you it's very important to not have an ugly situation have be uncomfortable on your own skin so well that, that sounded very deep but it's not too deep it's just a habit i have gum all the time with me 24 7 this is muriel with the gum if not it's not muriel you know anyway moving on i have these lateral pouches i don't carry anything on this one but i do carry something on the other side and this something is something essential that everyone must have and it's water water bottle this one i got it on my gym the one i'm going to right now you know free stuff a gift you must use it i do carry water all the time i didn't used to have it on a water bottle like this one before now that i have it i just think you should use it and it's very very important to stay hydrated it's very important not just when it's hot but during the whole year and thank you to Frances, my dear 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 Australian girl I love you because she was the one who taught me how to drink all the time water get addicted to drinking water which is a great addiction that's refreshing but yeah it's very important to stay hydrated during ballet class you get very tired and water might help you to keep on the class so be water my friend now we go for the big pouches big pouches so i have two one it's up in here and the other one it's in here in here i carry some stuff but not very very important stuff i do have oh yeah i i lost the piece and i i don't know what to put to replace it so i 
I, I open it. I try to open it. It's not the best way. I know it's not the best. I know I should fix it, but I'm too lazy. Not too lazy. Just I don't really know what to do with it. If you have any idea, just tell me down below. I'll be very happy to hear you. So I have some rosin in a Tupperware. The Tupperware is from the dollar store. Cheap. I think it was like 70 cents something like that and the rosin i got it from my local ballet store why do you carry rosin rosin is bad for my nose blah 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 because blah. a lot of people say no to rosin but a lot of dancers also say yes to rosin please i hate when the floor is so slippery that you're trying to do an adagio and you're all the time just like about to fall around that's the worst feeling ever you feel completely out of control and i actually prefer a floor that sticks a bit than a one that just slips around all the time so i do carry a bit of rosin you don't have to use a lot just with the small just with a bit of this and you're good to go believe me they had 250 grams 500 grams or a kilogram and i said give me the 500 grams because it's the best deal you can find it online you can find it at amazon you can find it everywhere really even in ebay when i go auditions this year although i didn't audition too much i carry it with me all the time because i thought maybe you'll be in a place where it's extremely slippery so it's good to have just a tiny bit of rosin if you want to like be sure or whatever good to to go this holy grail for dancers sportsmen women even normal people use it it's very important physio cream i use this one it's very very common everyone knows what it is it's with arnica which makes it have a very cooling effect and it's very nice when you have tight muscles and when it's summer and you have tight muscles this is the best thread needle and scissors people who also know me they know that this past yeah i was asking all the time for it and I think I finally learned the lesson this year I'll try to carry around all the time my pair of scissors and my pair of thread and needle and last but not least some deodorant all dancers know that we stink that we sweat a lot because we're sportsmen and women so it's normal for us to sweat but it's not always nice to start a rehearsal all sweaty and like a living shower I have my obsession with gum for my breath I do have a bit of an obsession with having deodorant with you because I I had this kind of nightmare of going to a dance class and a teacher passing by and saying oh my god you smell so bad like I know they wouldn't do it or maybe yes but you don't want anyone to tell you oh you smell so bad so yeah the other one smell good kids oh my god you committed suicide water bottle big big pouch first of all my roller Just save me. this is like my baby really like I I love my Italian girl Denise for giving me these for my very first birthday in Germany like gosh I love this and I don't know how much can I appreciate this present from you because really it saved my life it's good for stretching it's good for rolling out your muscles it's good to do everything the best the best best the best 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 the best 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 really I don't know how many times I would say it but it's just the best and I carry inside my boots from Block. they're a bit old but not too bad you can still use them for a very long time I do love them they're very warm but maybe if I have to get new ones I wouldn't get a bright color again I would probably get black ones or gray ones or something like that so you don't have to notice all the dirt and crap that gets into the boot this is a good method to save some space roller with booties theraband theraband what? therabands are very 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 important for a dancer i bought mine on the cathlon and i use them mostly to do my food exercises i love it i think it's very important to do your food exercises every single day especially if you have weak feet or you might need a lot of improvement on your feet and this made the job for me more than foot stretchers or just breaking your foot under the piano or just therabend really conscious exercises little by little and you can use them for other things as well you can do everything with your theraband almost so very very good investment i do have this little pouch where i carry very very important thing for me which are my balls that sounded very very bad but do not think badly of me really i have this pair this one was recommended to me by my physiotherapist he said that it's very good to rolling out your calves but I must say that I use them not just for my calf, but also for my the sole of my feet. Actually, I, I've used them as well, but mostly for my neck and back. This has saved my neck and shoulders and back so many times, really. It does the job so well. It gives you this like good pain that sometimes you need when you're extremely tight. Really, highly recommended. 
this pouch actually was the official pouch for some uh, flexi stretcher ball kit. There are four of them. This one, which I use usually to roll up my feet, uh, the sole, the full sole, because I think it's very important to get those muscles like loosen up, ready to go. Somehow I lost this section of footage, but anyway, I wanted to tell you a bit about the other massage balls you find in this set. The blue one you see on screen is softer than the beige one I just showed you, and although it's made to roll out your calves, I usually use it to roll my turnout muscles as it's more gentle than the others. The two smaller balls are made for rolling out the heel section of your feet. We don't realize it's necessary to roll it out until you do, and it made a huge change to me. Especially when I'm really tired, I like to roll out my heels standing on the balls, and after, I feel my legs longer and my feet feeling much more contact with the floor. I recommend you to give it a try. Now, let's continue. And what else do I have? I have my dear point shoes and I have two pairs with me. One in here, these are the new pair I'm carrying around now and in here I have my old pair. And in this bag from Ballet Rosa, which by the way, it's super soft, nice. I love these bags. I do carry, as I said, my old pair of point shoes, which I've used in this summer. I, I need to carry them around until they're completely gone. You really need to save your point shoes, I'm just saying. They're expensive and until you don't get in a company and you get them for free, just carry your punches around till they're dead. I carry in this same bag my ouch pouches. I have this one from Bunheads and I love them. I have two pairs. It covers really well your bunions. So when you have bunion pain or you're going through a very hard variation or something, I really like to use them. And I love them because they're reversible and you can wash them on the washing machine even if you want like it's just great I wash them by hand because I like to like soak them in for a full night I do this at least once a week and I also have these thingies I think they're called separators in English uh, it's for putting in between your big toe and your second toe and it has helped me a lot to heal extremely accentuated bunion I had thanks to these it has gone into a bit more of a straight position. You can find them in the pharmacy, you can find them online, you can find them everywhere. And the only thing I would say is wash them and put baby powder in them because they're silicone and baby powder helps the silicone to keep alive for longer time. And last thing I have on this bag, it's my common flat shoes. At the moment, I'm wearing these ones. They're the Block Pro Arch Canvas on the flesh colored. I like them, how they fit me. I think they look very nice. They adapt well. Now the dance stuff. I have some warm-ups. I have these pants at the moment. I love them. They're from Grishko. They were on sale when I bought them. It was such, such a good deal. These are an M size and I got the M size not because of my waist but because I like them baggy. I would say with warm-up stuff it's better to go a size up than a size down. And I always carry as well a t-shirt. This one, for example, it's from the summer intensive I did back in 2015, the Russian Masters Ballet Camp. It says, I dance to be me, which is very true. I dance to be myself. When it's winter, I will always have big jackets or sweatshirts, whatever. Like, I will wear something a bit more warm, but for summer, I love t-shirts to get warmed up and like just comfy at the beginning of a class. Then what I always carry, of course, it's a leotard. I love this leotard it's from Mirella, but I bought it on the Block Dance Store back in 2012. Wow, ages ago. It's very original, very comfortable. It has lining inside as well, which is great. Now, because it's summer, I like to wear just shorts. These are from the Decathlon as well. I like to dance on shorts, but, but, Maybe you're in a place where they don't allow you to wear shorts or you're not very comfortable wearing a short in depending which ballet class you're taking or the ballet master you're having. So I will always have a pair of tights with me. These tights are from Gaynor Minden. These ones are the professional model which have the heel and the toes out and I put them over my shoes. So it makes my leg longer. I love wearing them like that and I wear them 
over my leotard as well. It's a bit of a, I'm professional ballet dancer and I wear my tights over my leotard and I'm so professional and I love it and I'm like so alternative and I know. Dancers from time to time, we like to feel pro, we like to feel like that even when we're studying and it looks very nice. I'm trying to justify myself somehow. So it makes sense to say I love to wear tights that are to wear underneath your leotard to wear them over your leotard, but just dancer things. Last thing, this. It's the best ballet skirt I've had in my life and I thank a million times to the girl that made it for me because yes, it's made by hand. Angie, I love you. I will ask you for more skirts. <laughs> and this was a birthday present I got from her. It's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. Also with these colors combined, I think it's a perfect outfit for ballet class. It's just an example. Of course you don't have to wear exactly the things I'm telling you or that this is the correct outfit to wear everywhere. Like I sometimes like to go more classy like this. I sometimes like to go more modern like with a black leotard and a black short. It depends on how the class is gonna be, how I'm feeling on the day and especially now that I can wear whatever I want. I think it's time to feel free to wear whatever you want. This is all I had on my dance bag. Wow, we finished! It might seem like a lot, and it might be a lot, but I used to carry double the things I, I'm carrying now three years ago. But over the time, I think I will learn to even carry less. At the moment, I think this is the things I really need to have with me all the time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, just leave a thumbs up. I will be really glad to know if you like it. If you don't, just leave it in the comments as well. What other things you carry on your dance back, or what would you add, or what would you take away? I'm really hesitant on knowing what do you think? Anyway, I will see you very soon and I hope you have a lovely day. Lots of love. Bye.